So I was so angry at God at that point. And like, I was, I was shamed in my church. I like was looked down on now by my family. And it was just such a like dark period of my life that I was like, God, I have been doing everything that you told me to do as far as I knew it in my religion. Yeah. And I was like, it has done nothing for me. And there were also things that I started learning in the church that they were doing that I was like, that doesn't seem like the character of God to do that. Or it, that doesn't seem like that's God, but I didn't know any different. And so I started to now question the validity of the church for really the first time, like mm. started because they have their own like modern day prophet and apostles that lead the church now. So they believe that like they have a true prophet who speaks to God now, just like he did in the Bible. And this person is infallible. Pretty much. I mean, they, they now will say like, Oh, well, they're not perfect men. Um, and like, they can still make mistakes and speak as a man, but like you were commanded to follow the prophet. And so when I, when I started being met with things that I knew were contrary to God's heart that was coming through down the church leadership line, it made me start questioning the validity of mm -hmm. the leadership of the church for them to be the only true church and to, they're the only ones who speak and get revelation from God. But then it also like the, the pain and the shame and the condemnation that I was feeling because of this like life system that I had devoted myself to. I was just like, I've had enough. I'm done. I was like, God, either if this is who you are, like, and this, if this is your true church, like, I guess I'm done. Like I've, I've tried and I can't do it anymore. And so that's what led to that, your, your being agnostic. Right. right. Yeah. But I was like, but I couldn't deny that there was something mm -hmm. more spiritual, greater and outside of ourselves because of the, the traumatic spiritual oppression I'd faced as a kid. And so I was like, if that's real, if, if like demons and spirits are real, like there has to be a God. Yeah. Um, I was just like convinced me too. I was like, okay, if this is real, he has to be real too. Right. And I was just like, at that point I came to the belief that like, yes, I believe there's a God, but I don't believe he's like the Mormon church. Yeah. And I, but I don't believe that anybody can really know who God is. Mm -hmm. And that's why I took more of the agnostic position of like, it's all about just being a good person and um, honoring what you think is right in your life and treating people kindly and, and doing what you think, but not necessarily saying that like, you know, what is absolute truth because nobody can know that. And um, I honestly just decided to stop placing God as a major focus in my life and to really now start diving into like, what is it that's going to make me happy? What is it that's going to like help heal my trauma, so to speak. Yeah. And so that's where I just really, so I just like completely left the Mormon church, didn't want to get into any type of religion, especially like structured Christianity, nothing like that. Cause again, like I believed I had already been Christian and like done it to a magnified extent and it didn't work for me and I wasn't happy. So why would I like, so what did you go into next? What were the other ways you tried to heal those wounds? So for me, it really, and I, I actually think it's a mercy that I didn't really like become exposed to the new age. Cause I think I would have easily fallen into that. Yeah. Um, but, but pretty much what the devil used to, to still keep me entrapped, but in the illusion that like, I'm now free and this is the way that I'm going to heal myself was through fitness. Um, because again, that had become an initial healing point for me. Um, but I, 
because of how weak I felt inside, like it made me feel better to become more physically strong and like to be a physical, like dominant, strong yeah. person. Nice. Yeah. Who can like beat the boys and have like the fastest time and lift this and do that and to become like a pillar of like physical yeah. dominance. Yeah. So if we, if we don't have God, like we're going to be putting something in that God role, it's, it's always yeah. going to be something. So I don't, I think it's Jordan Peterson that says that he's like, Oh, well, you don't believe in God, but that means something else has become your God because right. we're, we're all always doing that. So it seems like this became that. For yeah. A while. Yeah. So, so fitness really became my God. And of course I didn't see it like that at the time, but it's, it's all I really thought about. Like it's what I was consumed with. And, but the way that it kept me entrapped was because it was my identity. I, I would have still this like crippling anxiety before any like workout or especially like if it's a competition, like everything is writing on this. And so like, I was just still bound yeah. by like what's supposed to help me heal and what's supposed to help me be free and better. I'm still bound to these negative things because if I don't do it right, then again, I'm, I'm failing and I'm not, I'm not accomplishing what I want. Um, and so I had to train for multiple hours a day. I had to eat a certain way. I had to like do this. And then I like had to mentally like strategize how I'm going to like, it was, it was everything. So it was very exhausting still in, in that sense. Yeah. And I know like with the new age, it's, it's the same thing. You're constantly needing to, to stick to your, your healing methods and to constantly be doing this inner child work and constantly, you know, doing the next thing. And you're never really healed because only Jesus completely heals. And so you it's have to chase, chase, chase. And that's the thing with the devil is that even if he gives you something, you're still on a leash and like you have to keep going after it and it's never long lasting so like for me like yeah i felt peace when i was like like working out and like afterwards and like with friends and community and stuff but and like when i when i finished and i did the best and was proud of myself and others were proud of me but when when it was done like i was still left with everything inside 